you might ask like why does art belong in a space like a library or why does art belong in these other humanity spaces and I remember I, I remember I, one of the my favorite teachers once saying to me that art is the embodiment of philosophy which basically means like we have all of these ideas floating around us right we have all of these art is the way that you make those ideas accessible my name is Dan Swern I'm a co-founder and co-producer for CoLab Arts um, the organization well, why don't you introduce yourself first, and then I'll dive in. <laughs> John Keller, and I am the co-producer and the director of education for Colab Arts. Right now, what we need is a library that is actively documenting and responding to the contemporaneous stories and experiences of its community. And I think SEL SNJ has done a great job venturing into this archive of Somerset County. Why are we bringing art into libraries? Because we very much believe that the artists in those spaces, if they have a job, if they have a presence, if they have a community, they're going to lead to greater community development and other artists following them into those spaces. Art should be in every space space, in every organization, in every school, in every library, um, in every city hall. Um, and it's because it is that space in which we can both share and also test and also reflect and also challenge and also kind of build meaning with others. We're incredibly excited uh, to be, be able to work with Diane and Sarah. My name is Diane Wazerker. I am an educator. I'm a conceptual artist. Um, my medium, the medium I work in primarily is photography, but I also like to do a lot of installation work um, and a lot of creative interventions um, with different communities. I am Sarah Danke. I am a Brooklyn-based artist. I primarily work in dance movement, choreography, with some film and video thrown in there for good measure. They are both very in tune with social practice. They are both going to go into these communities and very much own their own process of meeting, connecting, and, and really bringing in their respective communities. Diane has a really hard job right now going into Mandeville. This is a community with very recent trauma that they are still working through. She's gonna have to go in with a very light touch. The way that I work as far as my process is that I'll start with a feeling and then I work backwards. Consent is a critical part of my practice. For Somerville, Sarah has a history of producing pretty incredible large interventions. So when I work in community, um, like I will be doing here in Somerset County, we really are in conversation with one another and it's less about expertise in an art form and more about, you know, where can we use the art that I'm bringing into the room to help tell stories and um, lift up anything that we want to lift up collectively, right? What do we want the public to know? A lot of my residency is going to start and end at the library.